What's going on my dudes, One Step here with another Mortal Kombat 1 video. Today showing you all the big cameo changes that happened with the new Year 2 Chaos Reigns update. Most cameos got changed in a very small, minute way. I'm showing you all the big things and things you need to be aware of. Things that are very obvious, game changing, and things that might actually make you want to try other cameos. So go ahead and subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content and let's get right into it. The first big cameo changes actually came to Sub-Zero. He had some really good work done. He has multiple new moves. As we know, we can make ourselves projectile and vulnerable. That's awesome. We can cancel that into the shoulder charge. And we all know all this. So what's new for Sub-Zero? Well, down cameo is a new move. As you see, it freezes us and that acts as a parry to then freeze our opponent like this. Now we're able to go in for a combo. Keep in mind doing that, it does scale the combo a little bit, but it's still a great reversal tool. Now, while you're in this freeze move from down cameo, you can press back cameo to cancel it. So if you want to correct your mistake or during it, you can press forward cameo and Sub-Zero will actually throw you as a sort of projectile. That is a mid hit, so that's great. And from what I can tell, that is safe on block as well. It doesn't show me the actual block advantage data, but from what I can tell, it looks safe. And that is basically a full screen throw too. So you get in your opponent's face, even from full screen. Now keep in mind, you are not projectile and vulnerable, so keep an eye on that. Also, quick side note, this parry does mids, highs, overheads, and jump attacks, but not lows. If you're the opponent, you want to do a low when you see that. Sonya as a cameo also got some new moves and a small change. The small change that you need to know about is her leg grab, the back cameo move. That is more punishable when with. It's 17 more frames punishable. Not on block. If they block it, that's fine. You're still safe. It's when you whiff it. She got a new aerial move with down cameo. As you see, that is an overhead. So now we got two overheads, aerial down cameo and back cameo. And as you saw, the aerial dive kick is a pop-up for combos. So that might be a great way to like jump in, bait out a punish, but while you're in the air, you do down cameo, thus punishing them. Now, if you hold down cameo, she'll extend that move, do bicycle kicks and extend the combo even more like this. Now keep in mind, holding that and extending it does use the entire cameo meter, whereas the normal aerial dive only uses half the cameo bar. So do you want more damage? Do you want more ways to do stuff? Or do you just want the simple overhead pop up from the air? It's all up to you. Sonya was already an amazing cameo, and she's even better now. More and more new moves. Jax is one of the cameos that got a new move. When your opponent has their cameo, you can do either close or far gotcha grab. Close is forward down back cameo, and far is back down forward cameo. And here's how it looks. Once your opponent has their cameo out, just call Jax. He'll grab the opponent's cameo and just like punch him off. If you hold cameo, he'll stay there, just continue to wail on him. One, it immobilizes your opponent to use their cameo. So one, they can't use their breaker. And two, it's allowing you to do more damage during your follow-up combo if you're able to punish because Jax is doing damage to the cameo while you're doing damage to your opponent. So it's kind of like a double whammy uh, when it comes to damage. So here's how that might look. So it's a great way to stop your opponent from using their cameo, negating their breaker ability, and it just looks freaking awesome. Kano also got some minor changes. When blocked, his laser eye will actually do more hit, but have a bit of a longer recharge delay. So if you use Kano and you actually use the eye laser move, there you go. Kung Lao got some changes and some new moves. The new move is down cameo, where he throws out this hat, and the hat will actually orbit you just like this, and as you see, they hit our opponent for a mid hit. Now, this is great, because one, if it actually hits your opponent, it staggers them allowing you to do a follow-up combo like this and secondly it's a great way to help you get in close safely because your opponent either has to block that so they can't really punish you for getting in close or they're gonna take the hit so if you're playing Raiden for an example his teleport's not a very safe teleport but if we have that hat on us oh now we're good so it's a great way to help get in close and have that safety in doing so and if your opponent hits it well you got a combo you can hold cameo while it's orbiting you and it actually makes the hat go like a bit more wobbly like this so if your opponent tries to like maybe poke it, go under it, you might want to be holding cameo to make it go like uh, up and down. Kung Lao, just like Sonya, was already a great cameo. And now he's even better. For you very few Shijinko mains, he got a great buff and some new moves. So as you might know for Shijinko, we have back cameo for a hit. We got forward cameo for a hit. Shijinko off of those two moves, forward cameo, back cameo, can press up cameo afterwards and do different things. So back cameo for the back kick, and then up cameo will actually do an overhead. 
So first of all, that's great for mix. And if it does hit, it's great for creating that space you might want. Not quite full screen, but it really resets the neutral here. Forward cameo is the punch. You press up cameo. He will then kick them and stagger them, allowing you to follow up for another combo. And it looks like this. This is great for Jajinko mains because normally you have to have an opponent's move to extend combos and that can be hard if you you know can't charge Jajinko or you can't quite get the meter you need to steal their good moves. But now even when he's not charged, I have no Jajinko cameo right now. I can still stagger a line for combo extension and that is really huge because now he's viable by himself. But if you get the chance to charge him and steal your opponent's moves, that's even better. It is just so nice to be able to know you can use Jajinko for an overhead or or stagger without having to charge him or having to have the meter to then steal your opponent's moves. He's still a bit tricky to really understand and get down, but he's much more viable now. I know there's a lot of you sector mains out there. Sector, again, as most cameos are now, but just even better. He's got a fatal blow hit now. So during the fatal blow animation, just press cameo and he'll shoot a missile. It's really fast, allowing some characters to get into the fatal blow off of moves they normally couldn't. Here's how it looks. It's also a mid, by the way, so that's huge. And you can do it off of combos you normally couldn't have, like this. It's just so quick. I love that. So if you want faster and easier and better ways to get into the Fatal Blow, uh, just go ahead and use Sector or Motaro for that reason. Not only that, but if you want to do Homing Missile, rather than pressing Cameo twice and trying to get the timing right, you can just now hold Cameo and he'll do the Homing Missiles. Again, that's just more of a ease of use, you know? So small changes in sector, but uh, they're for the better. We're definitely gonna start seeing some more striker mains come out of the woodworks here. He got a buff and it is great. His grenades, when your opponent is now airborne, will actually pop up your opponent for combo extension. And that is for both far and close grenades. So now he allows for combo extension, whereas normally the grenades did not do that. And after doing so, the grenades have less damage scaling. So Striker is going to be an absolute menace, man. We have an overhead. We have a restand with the cuffs. We have a low. Now we have aerial combo extension with the grenades. And those grenades also just make you safe on certain things. I'm just saying, man, Striker, again, is just so much better. We're going to see a lot more Striker mains, I guarantee it. Just like Shijinko, for you very few Darius mains, he got a nice change. Army of Two, you know, this move right here, the lows. That can now be performed after Volleyballistic, which is neutral cameo, and then forward cameo, just hold cameo, then do low again. So again, small change, but it's just more mix that Darius has, and he's already got so much mix. This is just another way to add a, a low after the overhead rather than doing the overhead, or you can just not do it and do the overhead. So again, just more insane mix for Darius. Darius is probably one of the most underrated cameos in the game. He's phenomenal and no one's using him, so maybe this might make you want to go try him out. And then Chameleon also got a new move. As a Chameleon main, I was super excited. It's still a good move, but uh, not quite what you're thinking. If you main Chameleon, you know that she goes normally Melina, Jade, Katana, Melina, Jade, Katana. Well, have you ever wanted to go the reverse? Have you ever wanted to go Katana, Jade, Melina, Katana, Jade, Melina? Well, now you can. If you press down, down cameo, she'll come out and this will reverse her order of which she goes for disguises. So we're Melina right now. We're going to go Katana next, actually, like you see there, rather than normally we would have gone Jade. Then same thing, just down, down cameo and she'll reverse it again. So it's not that you can manually change which version of Chameleon you're gonna get. It's just now that you're changing the order. So if you always had combos that went Melina, Jade, but you've always wanted combos that went from Melina to Katana, well, now you can. I actually think this reverse order is gonna be a lot better. That's just me personally. I'll have to do some testing, but that's the new move that Chameleon got. If I missed any changes, I'm sorry. Let me know what those changes I missed were down below. And while you're in the comments, let me know, were any of these changes to these cameos enough to make you change cameos and go and try them? I'm not gonna lie, I'm still gonna main Chameleon, but now I'm really leaning towards Kung Lao or Striker. Those changes are just so good. If you want more content like this, make sure to subscribe here for more. Turn that bell on so you know when we upload and when we go live. Take it one step at a time and go ahead and click into these videos next for more Mortal Kombat news, guides, reactions, and more.